vitamin D, B12, wherever you go on YouTube, Insta, now you're finding so much content on vitamin D, vitamin B12. Everybody is creating content and saying that you should drink anywhere from orange juice to mushrooms so that you can get vitamin D. It's all nonsense. Hi, I'm your orthodox Dr. Samir. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and uh, I practice in Bandra East. If you are nearby, you can come visit us. If you are far away, you can comment down in the sec comment section. We will get back to you. And coming now, we'll be talking about vitamin D and vitamin B12. As a nation, we are usually, all of our people have a tendency to be deficient in vitamin D and vitamin B12. And most of the information that you find on YouTube, Insta and all such channels about the sources of vitamin D and B12 is all either impractical or just completely wrong. So let us come to the first one. The ones which I find uh, most uh, unrealistic are the ones which say that orange juice is a source of vitamin D. Now somewhere in some article it was written that orange, fortified orange juice can be a source of vitamin D. Which means they have taken orange juice and then they have put vitamin D into it. But that doesn't make it a source of vitamin D. Now orange juice can be a source of vitamin C. It can be a source of carotenoids but it cannot be a source of uh, vitamin D so a uh, vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin it is usually available only in animal foods so if you have uh, egg yolk is a good source there will be some minute amounts of uh, D in milk but it won't be significant enough to consider it a source of vitamin D so the only practical source of vitamin D one is sunlight two is egg yolks which you can incorporate if you're a vegetarian and a vegan and if you don't eat egg yolks then just measure your vitamin D levels regularly every six months or so and if they fall then just have a nano syrup or a capsule it's very simple cheap easily available get it prescribed by your doctor and don't take these supplements without checking your normal levels because vitamin D is fat soluble so it does not get automatically excreted from the body so there is such a thing as excess of vitamin D so I had one patient whose vitamin D was excessive over 100 when we tested it and then she had gone and taken further injections or something of vitamin D because she didn't, was not well informed. So please be careful, uh, measure your vitamin D levels. Diet wise, uh, I have heard that uh, mushrooms are a source, however, uh, the amount in mushrooms is very less. You will have to eat a big bowl full of mushrooms. There is some uh, information that if you put it in the sun, the amount of uh, uh, vitamin D generated inside the mushroom increases. How much of that is actually absorbable? How much of that is bioavailable? We don't know. And eating a big bowl of mushroom every day is pretty impractical to get the minute amount of vitamin D that it has. So uh, let us focus on trying to get some sunlight, uh, incorporating some eggs which are a source of uh, protein and the egg yolk will be a source of vitamin B12 and D3 both. Uh, do cook it because only when you cook the egg yolk, the, it the B12 becomes bioavailable, which means it can be absorbed only then. So uh, taking a raw egg and mixing it in milk and drinking and all may not make the B12, may not get absorbed in your body. Now coming to B12, B12 is a, is a water soluble vitamin. So even if you take excess of it, it will get excreted. So with B12 and B12 supplementation, you are a little on the safer side. It is important that you measure your levels. It is important that you keep them above 500. Even though the limit in our country is something like 300, but in other countries, like it is, uh, the lower limit is considered to be 500. So I, and the upper limit is somewhere at 1000. So I think it is better that we keep our B12 levels a little above 500 so anywhere between 600 to 800 you're good so do test your b12 levels if you uh, are deficient then uh, do take some capsule very easily available uh, various brands and uh, you can take them you can take a multi b complex kind of a capsule and it will help uh, to sort of supplement the other b vitamins also and um, there are a lot of products now being pushed on uh, social media saying that this is a natural source of B12 and this is not a medicine, this is a natural source of D3 and all that. But in any case, if you're taking powders or capsules, which are not regulated by any uh, agency because they are being sold as food supplements and you're taking those and then you're adding them to milk or to your food, why don't you just take a purified form of vitamin D and B12 which is available as a, a capsule or as a syrup. Don't consider it to 
टू बी अ मेडिसिन एंड बी स्केड ऑफ इट जस्ट कंसिडर इट टू बी विटामिन सप्लीमेंट सो कंसल्ट योर डॉक्टर टेस्ट योर लेवल्स एंड इफ इट इज लो देन सप्लीमेंट एंड डोंट फॉल फॉर ऑल दीज things on social media where they keep telling you that they keep pushing some product or some capsule ki this is a good source or that is a good source and this is a natural source but not a medicine don't fall for that trap okay wishing you good health bye